Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Studio A. Our next guests were part of the team behind the recently released Murundak Songs of Freedom, which was a documentary about the black arm band which celebrates and shares Indigenous music. Please make welcome filmmaker Natasha Gad and singer-songwriter Emma Donovan. Welcome. Thank you very much. Anne, welcome. Take a seat. Hey, ladies, firstly, thank you for coming on the show. Yeah, thanks for having thanks us. us. How's it going? Now, the film's, the film's just come out. Uh, for those who don't know, it's a documentary that follows uh, the tour of the, the Black Arm Band, Anne, uh, which you, you're obviously part of. Uh, for those yeah. who don't know, tell us about the Black Arm Band. Um, Black Arm Band started up around 2004. Um, and it's come out of the um, the Arts House in Melbourne. Yep. Yeah, it's directed by Stephen Richardson and some of the producers come, uh, Jude Gunn and Kate Benthoven. Yep. Now, yeah, and it was a movement that started uh, at a time when we were kind of, you know, ten years deep into a conservative government. Yep. And I guess uh, Indigenous Affairs were a state where reconciliation hasn't, hadn't happened yet and, and was this about kind of... Uh, you know, building people's not only knowledge of Indigenous affairs, but celebrating, celebrating Indigenous culture yeah. and, and sharing that and spreading spreading the word. Is that is, yeah. that, is that right? Um, yeah. Well, the Black Arm Band is um, there's there's a big mob of us. There's like yep. a lot of Indigenous artists from all over Australia. Legends um, as well. Yeah, like legends. Archie Roach, yeah. Dan Sultan, who's, who's yeah, been Dan on Sultan's the show, Jimmy involved. Little, yeah, yeah, and um, Steve Pigram from the Pigram Brothers is yeah. involved and. Um, Lou Bennett from Titters as well, so um, yeah, some amazing, of the legends for me. Yeah. Amazing musicians. Now, yeah. uh, Natasha, you're one of the founders of, of Daybreak Films, who, who got behind uh, this project and produced it. Uh, how, did, how did that kind of come about? Well, we were invited to begin with to produce a whole lot of the archival footage that would sit behind the live show. So the songs were kind of, I guess, charting the story of Indigenous protest from largely the kind of late 60s through yep. the present day. Um, but they did tell really the story of colonisation from the beginning days of the late 17, you know, 1788 and onwards. Um, and, yeah, we were sort of putting together these stories that looked at really key moments, like the land rights struggle and, um, yeah, the right to vote and um, just general kind of stories of equality and and rights for freedom so we were involved that way and then we just saw this gathering of artists who were all on the stage and it was just kind of like this massive mob of of indigenous artists coming from all over the country and they were just the biggest legends and we just thought this needs to be documented this is too good yeah. not to mm. knock you not to document well yeah. for, for those out there who haven't uh seen a trailer for the film we've got a, a little bit let's check it out now you tell the story you tell the story of where we've come from and why we are where we are and how we are, where we are. Yeah. There's an old saying, doesn't matter how many times you get hit on the chin and fall down, it matters how many times you get back up. We got here to this point, we haven't been wiped out and we're not going anywhere. Because these songs have kept us strong and go in our communities for so many years and they talk about the struggle, they talk about the stolen kids, they talk about the, the drinking and, and everything else, you know. It keeps us, it keeps us strong. When you look at Murrinduck and what it stands for and all our stories into one, that's like our big fist, you know? Oh, yeah. Now, uh, it's a beautiful film and I think it's, it, it, it's an important thing. I mean, you get a feel for it from the trailer, but it's an important thing to realise that from such a, an oppressed race, it would be quite easy to make an angry film. Yeah. Uh, but this film is a lot about celebration of culture, more yeah. so than than yeah. a kind of venting of anger. That's right. There's a lot of proudness, I think, too, for a lot of people, especially for, like, younger mob like myself. Um, you know, we've looked up to people like Jimmy Little and Archie Roach. They're artists that have, like, paved the way for us younger fellas. So it's also um, the story, is, the whole of Murrinduck film is uh, all about a journey to f about different generations and, you sure. know, talking about musicians now, um, the younger fellas like me and Dan and talking about our journeys and, um, you know, how we've written songs now today and how they're different to songs that people like Archie Roach and Ruby Hunter yeah. would have wrote. You know, like it was actually interesting you, you said that because when I was watching it there, Dan Sultan, I, I think it was almost in, in that bit we saw there, he said that the Black Arm Band 
means different things for different people yeah. involved. And you said for, for a lot of the, the older folk in it, it, it's a lot about healing, whereas yeah. for, the, for the younger generation, it's about understanding and, and educating. Yeah, and you know educate. I mean? yeah. I feel like, like, you know, with these songs like um, From Little Things, Big Things Grow, that was yep. a part of the Moan Ducks first um, show that we ever did when it started. And, you know, for a song like that, I didn't know about the history behind that. It's something that I kind of had to learn as I kind of went along. Did you so. know? Neither did I. I, I, read, no. I. I read this today. You know the chorus, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Everyone knows you know. The Paul Kelly song. There's about ten yeah. verses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. yeah. exactly. Now, so it, it's, it's, it's an amazing journey as well because you go uh, across to, to London yeah. and you play you play huge gigs. I mean, there was 200 people that didn't get let into the, to the London show. But then you also <laughs> you play these beautiful yeah. little gigs. Uh, yeah. Do lots of remote touring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it, Regional I, touring. Are the shows enjoyable for different reasons? Are there, are there shows that you prefer to do? Uh, do you prefer the big the big shows then, or do you prefer? Um, oh, we love we love you know can't help but love a you know a gig overseas. That's pretty good. But you know I think the heart and the soul of what Art Murray Duck and um, a lot of the shows like Dirt Song and Hidden Republic are about uh, for our people back in the community. Yep. So yeah, my heart like per, on a personal level I love. You know, going back to places like Manangreda, um, Manyala Look, you know, Nitmaluk, and all the um, areas around Catherine Gorge. All the towns that if I yeah. said them would sound horrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's funny because some of the, the places that we went to initially, there'd be a crew of 40 people on a, you know, 40 seater bus at a massive kind of semi trailer rolling into a community mm. and playing to 40 people. Yeah. And, you know, it was mm. kind of like as many people watching as there were kind of behind yeah. the whole show. And it was mm. just as. Powerful, powerful and, yeah. you know, just and, as celebrated. And, you know, the passion from, from the people there as well that get to experience this where mm. in areas where they don't mm. get a lot, you know, yeah. It, it, yeah. It's, a great, it's a great thing to do. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on the thank show. Thank you so much for having us. Yeah. Make, make sure you check out the film. Mm. It's playing, it's in limited release. It's at Nova Cinemas right now. It's a beautiful film. Make sure you go and check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, the, show, the film is called uh, Murundak. Uh, please thank Natasha Gad and Emma Donovan. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you. <laughs>